Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today I'm bringing you something extremely special, courtesy of the team from RTR Imperium Serectum. Currently the best mod of Total War, certainly the best mod on Rome Remastered, and they have allowed me a little sneak preview of some of the updates they've been working on for the mod going forward. And honestly guys, they are insane. In this video, we're going to talk about the scale of the mod and look at the beautiful new mod map that is absolutely huge 900 plus regions on this map guys absolutely ginormous so stick around for that we'll look at the map at the end first things first guys we're going to go through some of the key points and updates that have been made so far to show you really the scale of the mod that they have brought the scale of the mod that they are working on so currently they're working on a six month development cycle and this has focused entirely on this new map however they've been building new units for several months it took them quite a while four or five months to build the first new unit but since then dozens and dozens of new units have been brought and in the next video after this we're going to be showing you some of those beautiful new units every new unit will have seven variants guys seven variants so that every battle looks unique plays realistically and is nice and distinct so you're never going to get that same feeling in every single battle every battle will look different and feel different in terms of the scale guys these are some mad stats so listen to some of these stats they're absolutely crazy there's currently 1027 yes 1027 new unit textures with more coming 350 new unit models with four variations on each there's over 500 linothorax variants 150 new phalangite shields 100 new thurios shields and 30 new hellenistic helmet types that is just crazy 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 stats for some of these units and as i say we'll go over some of those units in the next video as well of course there's new artwork there's a new ui there's a new video in the background of the main menu as you can see playing in the background there um, there's new artwork on the loading screens and on top of that with the map there's new unique settlement plans as well so not every settlement will be exactly the same like in the base game there's also 18 new factions guys 18 new factions so guys without further ado let's have a look at this stunning new map and we'll go through all the new factions once we've had a look at this huge new addition to the mod i will see you on the map guys here we are guys and i'm just gonna give you a second to just take this map in look at it look how stunning it is look how big it is look how filled out it is with the amount of different factions it is absolutely beautiful and it is absolutely massive as well so let's get down into the map and uh, we'll go over the map while i talk about some of the new features of this map i've been told it's the biggest total war map ever made ever made guys with more than 900 regions yes 900 regions look at this map guys it is absolutely beautiful absolutely massive and more regions are scheduled for release in the 0.6 release after this 0.5 release is released i've said release a lot of times there there are two new cultures illyrian and iberian as well and they have poured the mod team have poured over ancient maps to see exactly how big these settlements were what sort of size they were at the time of the start date and where they would be on this beautiful map it is absolutely stunning they're all unique all of these they have been individually crafted as you can see no standard amounts of people this one kiros 3 to 50 6, here so they all got different populations and different buildings based on what they were like at the time of the start of the map guys it is that 
detailed. It is that loved. It is beautiful. It is fantastic. Recruitment's also been simplified for all factions, including Rome, just so that while uh, when the release comes out, it's a simplified and streamlined campaign experience, but more detailed recruitment uh, options will come later. And as I say, there are new unique settlement plans as well. Now, let's just look at this map. You can see how big it is. This is the Seleucid Empire that we've loaded in as. This is our easternmost border. We could go all the way over here to the westernmost border. Absolutely amazing. And I can assure you, movement points have been changed. So, don't be worried that you're not going to be able to get troops around. You will have plenty of movement points. So, even though the map is massive and has a lot of settlements... It doesn't feel um, too big. It doesn't feel absolutely huge that you can't move your troops around. You've got plenty of movement points, so don't be worried about that at all. So we go all the way from over here around Pakistan. We can go all the way down to Ethiopia and Eritrea over here. Fantastic. All the way up to Egypt. All the way across the coast. All the way to Morocco north into Spain and to Britain and up to Denmark, Norway and Sweden. This is absolutely stunning and absolutely huge. And if we zoom in, you can see just the amount of regions in this absolutely massive, massive map. So guys, while we are here, let's go over the new factions, the 18 new factions that we've talked about. So guys, one thing to note that I've been told to tell you guys is that when you uh, come onto the map, go onto no settlement labels, uh, just so that the map runs really nicely and smooth. Of course, with the amount of settlement labels, as you can see, it takes a lot of processing power to produce all these labels on your computer. So it will move, run really nicely and smoothly without them. You can press spacebar if you want to see them and see your different settlements. So that's no problem whatsoever. Now, guys, let us get into those new 18 factions that are available to play as now. And really, the most love has come in this region here. The Celtic regions filling in this space over here so that these regions don't just have one dominant power. As well as the Anatolian region has actually got a lot of new interesting factions. Anyway guys, let's start over here in Britain. We have the Trinovantes. So the Britons, they've been changed from the Iceni to the Trinovantes. That's absolutely fine. That's brilliant. We also have the Belgians over here, the Belgae, a very strong Celtic faction, as you can see, starting with quite a few regions, so should be a decent power over here. And I believe Julius Caesar called these the strongest and most uh, fearless of the Celts that he faced. So... We come up north into Denmark, we have the Kimbri, the Danish faction. Very nice to see them involved indeed. Very nice indeed. The precursors for the Saxons, I believe. So, down here into Germania, we have several different factions ready to go. So, we have the Chatty next to the standard Suebi that we all know and love, and then the Lugii, which actually start with a few different regions, a couple of different regions, I think three or four or five. So they start with a bit more of a large playing field to play on. So they should be a really hard challenge for who whoever's playing as the Suebi. And we have the Volkai over here, as you can see, another uh, Germanian region, another Germanian uh, tribe ready to fight its rivals. Combine this with the boy over here, who have this little area up here in eastern Germania, and also this region down here in northern Italia, which is fantastic to see. So a bit of a split start, so quite a difficult start, I would say, if you were going to start as a boy, which is quite cool to see. We have the standard A Dewey, as well as the Arverni, which were already in the uh, the uh, base 
of the mod. So, more competition in the Gaulic regions, which is great to see. I just love the fact that they've added in these, re these uh, factions to these regions to add more competition because generally in uh, with the smaller map you just have one dominant power whereas now we're gonna see a lot of fighting in some of these regions which is fantastic we also have added in the Aravachi so we already had those in the uh, the base mod currently we have the Edatani here in Iberia and we also have the Lusitanians. So plenty of competition in the Iberian Peninsula as well, which is fantastic. If we come over to North Africa, we shall see that the Mesocili and the uh, uh, Mesili, yeah, I've got to be careful pronouncing these names because if you don't know, guys, I thought that one of these guys was Massalia for a long time in one of my campaigns. So <laughs> we have to be careful here. But they've been split into two. So there are now two Numidian factions, which is great to see those guys getting some love as well. So one that I missed in North it Italy, guys, is the Insubres. These Insubres, the northern Celtic faction in the Italian Peninsula. Here is the Italian Peninsula, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. And there is Sicily. So lots and lots of regions. You can see that Syracuse now has a load of regions. And the Romans do have also a load of regions. So let's come across into the Balkans to have a look at some of these new factions. The Skordiski, a Celtic faction in the center of the Balkans over here. We also have the Ardai, I, I can't pronounce that at all, over on the coast. I believe these guys are a mix of Celtic and Greek, and you can see that they have a Greek, um, uh, Greek model there and Greek model cities. So they have a bit of a mix of uh, the Celtic and Barbarian um, troops along with the Greek ones. In the Greek Peninsula, let's have a look. This is one of the best regions in the game, the richest regions. You can see some serious work's been done on here. So many new regions, so many new cities. Pretty much the same factions, but just with more cities. So it's going to be an absolute battle royale in Greece, just like before, which is fantastic to see. Ah, brilliant. And now let's come across to Thrace, and we can see that the Odrysians are over here, but we also have some of these Celtic factions as well. Tylus, a Celtic faction, as you can see with their uh, unit model and city models. So we also have the Getai over here, so there's got to be even more battle royale along this Thracian coast. So now let's look at Anatolia, and we shall see some of the new factions over here. You can see the Seleucids, the Pergamons, very much in a strong position over here. But we also have Bithynia. Bithynia, another Greek faction on this little spit of land here. Fantastic to see those guys. So along with Bithynia and Anatolia, who else has been added? These guys, the Cappadocians. Very nice to see them in the game. They have quite a large starting area, so I think they're going to be pretty strong in this Anatolian region, along with the Seleucids and Pergamon. Um, and the Antigonids over here have this little spit as well, which is fantastic to see. Look at Crete, guys, by the way. Look how good Crete is. Look how many regions are on Crete. Roads are going to be useful on Crete now, guys. The roads are going to be useful on Crete. That's fantastic to see. On top of this, over here, we have the Armenians up here already in the base game. But these guys, the Atropatene, they actually are kind of an Iranian faction, I believe. An Eastern faction. These guys actually avoided subjugation by the Macedonians. So it's awesome to see them in here. Awesome to see them in here in this mod. They're in a pretty defensible position as well, as you can see. Looks like they only start with two regions, but look at these mountains that surround them. I don't think anyone's going to be able to get to them any time soon. So we have Parthia, Bactria, and the Sarka up here. And let's just check we haven't missed anyone else. I believe that is everyone, guys. We've gone through all the different factions. But look at this map. It is absolutely stunning, isn't it? It is fantastic. It is fantastic. And um, I've been told by the mod team they believe that with this sort of map, they're expecting more regional conquests 
to be the norm. Obviously, a world conquest would be absolutely crazy if anyone could do that. Good luck. Um, 900 regions in a, in a world conquest would be absolutely crazy, but they're expecting more regional conquests. So, for example, starting as Sparta and controlling Greece, or starting as, say, the uh, Cappadocians and conquering Anatolia. It's more sort of a regional uh, conquest feel rather than these large world conquests. But that will mean battle royale in a lot of these places, especially up here in Germania and down here in Greece and Anatolia. That is going to be crazy to witness. <laughs> That's going to be fantastic to witness indeed. So guys, in conclusion, this map is massive and stunning. It is fantastic. The amount of work that has gone into this mod so far really does cement it as the best Rome Total War mod I've definitely ever played. If not the best Total War mod, there is an stunning amount of detail. There's a massive amount of stuff to do. It's going to be absolutely fantastic when it's released. Currently don't know the release date, guys, so... Um, don't ask that. For any updates, join their Discord server, RTR Imperium Serectum, um, where you can find all the latest updates in there, guys. So, guys, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff, because I'll be bringing out another video showcasing some of the new unit designs and unit variation. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again on the next video.